Okay, today we're going to show you how the cloud upgrade is done from the Vision NVRs for both MVRs and IP cameras. So we'll start by logging into the actual Vision uh, NVR, and the default password is admin123456. This particular unit does not have a password. But again, the default password would be admin123456. So by logging in, here's your main menu structure. To check for the cloud upgrade of the actual MBR itself, you go into the maintain menu. You come here to upgrade. Go to upgrade by cloud, and it will tell you the current firmware version you're currently running in your machine. By simply hitting the check button, it will check to see if there's any new firmware available up in the cloud, and this unit currently has the latest. Now, if there was, it would show you the latest, and then download it from the cloud and upload it to the MVR. The MVR would reboot, and you would be set with the latest firmware. Now, for the cameras, you would go into the camera menu. And here you have your standard camera layout structure. By going into advanced, it'll show you the vision cameras and any other model cameras you may have, um, the current firmware that the cameras are running. So you'll see camera 1 here is running 1705, where camera 2 has 1708. Now also keep in mind that the cloud upgrade only works for the vision product. So yes, the vision MVRs will support the ultra and the par paramount cameras, but it will not support cloud upgrade for those two series. To see if the cameras do have a, a newer firmware version, you'd simply come here and hit the check new firmware. It'll check, and if there is one, it'll tell you the latest firmware version here. So you'll see the latest firmware version is 1708C07, and the current is 1705. So by moving over, you can go ahead and choose by cloud and hit the OK. It'll start the download process from the cloud and then the upload process. Now as I mentioned, you do have to be connected to the P2P cloud in order for the cloud upgrades to connect. So even if you do choose to connect to the unit from a static WAN IP or from the DDNS name, you'd still have to enable the P2P so that you can access these cloud upgrades. So by simply going to the system menu and the network, You'd go to P2P and you'd check off the enable P2P box. Now, <clears throat> to register the account, you'd have to go to star4live.com and uh, register your account. So you'd create a username, password, and then you'd have to add the device. Now, to add the device, you can either choose to type in or manually type in the register code below, or you can download the Invid CMS app and scan the device into your phone and it'll automatically register on the account and then when you come back into the screen you will see the device status says on the line now again this needs to be done in order to create uh, to access the cloud upgrade feature um, and with the cloud upgrade feature you no longer have to worry about going to a website downloading the firmware putting it to a usb stick being at the site to do so or connecting to the unit from the wide area uh, connection, whether it be DDNS or anything else, downloading the firmware and uploading it that way. Please keep in mind that the cloud firmware is not an automatic update. You would have to manually go in and hit the check button for both the NVR firmware and the IP camera firmware. So again, it is not automatic. It is a manual thing, but it takes away the hassle of having to go to websites, checking, downloading, uploading, or even giving the customers um, instructions on how to do so. It's as simple as hit the check button, and you saw it in the camera menu. If there is one, they can simply go there, hit the check button under the advanced, and it will start the process for them. And then once done and upgrade is complete, the camera itself will reboot on the back end. Once the camera is completely rebooted and does come back, you can hit that refresh button. And as you can see, it has not come back yet. But once the camera has rebooted and fully come back, the firmware version will read the latest. Now this too can also be done over the web browser. Same thing uh, by going to the setup menu, going to the camera menu and advanced tab. You can check for any firmware version for the cameras. And under the setup maintenance menu on the web browser side, you can check to see if there's any firmware version for the MVR as well. So it can be both done at the unit or from the web browser. Key thing here is simply just again remembering that you are connected to the P2P. Otherwise, that is your cloud upgrade.